Hey guys, Jen here from Maine and Such and Such and Be Scented. I'm making patchouli soap. I've been out of it for a little while. And I actually had somebody place an order the other day and say they needed patchouli soap. So, you ask and you shall receive. As long as it's something I normally carry. <laughs> So I'm doing the heat transfer method again. My, my most method of choice for probably the last six months to a year. Pour in nice and slow. You don't want to splash. Actually, I've had really easy soaping day because my sister-in-law come over I think it was last week and I made candles and she prepped uh, oils for me for five batches of soap so heck yeah my oils were all already ready all I had to do was get my liquid and my lye ready which I like this way of soaping because I can prep my oils ahead of time and then say I have 30 minutes or 45 minutes and I'm like, oh, I want to make a batch of soap. I can. When I'm done here, I'll make you one, okay? But you gotta wait till I'm done. Well, that's a long time. Yes, it will take a long time. Why? Why are you going to make a lot of stuff? Because mommy sells it. People like mommy soap. Don't mess in the sink. Thank you. I just dumped out. I just dumped the water out there, mama. I know. That was my fragrance cup. Make, make it change, mommy. What do you want to do for lunch? Um, cookies. <laughs> like, like there is. And I need the milk again. Did you guys hear that? He wants Oreos and milk for lunch. It's the lunch of champions. How about we make a sandwich first? Oh, I want to say hi. Well, go ahead. Your finger? Yeah. How'd you do that? How I done it? Mm hmm. I fell on the step stool. Allie, you okay? Yeah. Okay, good. Lots of noise. And with our fragrance, stinky old patchouli. Blech. And then I did Uh-oh. Hello. Hi. Making soap in a video. What?
See Dad. everywhere and I'm like that's just great thanks you guys probably could hear my mom she knew I was doing a video I'm a grandpa mold alrighty then technique well this for me um, I don't know what it's called and I don't know how it's gonna turn out but you just drop the soap in just the top part like you pour all your color in and then you just do a drop swirl on the top and woo, however far down it goes is how far down it goes I thought this soap would be neat to do it with. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pour the black on because it takes over. And then we'll put the white on top. I have always done my patchouli white and black. Always, always, always. Patchouli just shouts dark and dirty. So that hints the black. And I do the white to counteract the black. Alright. 
excited to see how this looks when I unmold it. I've never done it like this. I may do another one like this. All right, guys. We shall catch you for the cutting. Hey, guys. I am back to cut the patchouli soap. Just got it on out of the mold. And I dropped my paper down. Let's see how it turned out. Now I did that new sort of new technique. And I don't think I did it right. <laughs> well, I think it's poured down um, a little too far, which is okay. We'll do it again. The it should only go down about that far, you know, about halfway. The drops. But I like it anyways. Looks pretty neat. This is a very simple bar of soap. One of my better sellers when I was out. I really like it. It's got a big chunk of black in it, don't it? Kind of looks like a person sitting in a chair. Maybe they're in an airplane. That's what I like about drop swirls. You can see lots of things. I've seen people dancing. Ooh, that's neat. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.